they do. Okay, uh, we have uh, Spiritual Eye in the studio, but he will tell us exactly what he does. And I'd like you to take the numbers down, the number to call this morning to ask your questions about Korea, all over Nigeria and abroad, wherever in the world, is uh, 90 3953 Three nine five three five four zero one. You get to ask me questions. You get to ask him all of the questions uh, this morning. What exactly does Smithola do? Okay, uh, Smithola Investments. We we did a lot of things. You know, the first one is Korea and cargo. That is why we are here. We are into house paint too, and we're into cosmetics. So we do cosmetics, you know, we, we have our own soap, our own cream that bears our name. Then we, we have our own paint factory, you know, our, any type of paint, any kind of paint that you want. So we produce paint. Mm. And the reason why we're here is the cargo section. Mm -hmm. So it's cargo and Korea. So What's the difference? That is it. So What's the difference between the two? You say cargo, you say Korea. What's okay, the yeah, Korea is, for example, if you have a letter to transfer from one place to another yeah that's korea but when we talk about cargo is every goose. duty goose mm. you want to ship goods from lagos to abuja you want to ship goods from you know from nigeria to any part of the world you know mm. korea don't goes kg we call it parcel okay. but cargo goes on kgs and tons mm. 20 tons 50 tons 10 kg 5 kg 20 kgs mm. so that's cargo mm. And how affordable is Mitola? Because I remember that uh, Tessie was uh, talking last week and she was talking about goods that needed to go out of the country and all that. But how affordable are you? Because one of the questions people will be asking this morning is everybody wants to send something somewhere. Okay. For example, we wanted to pick up books for my little girl, um, I think it was on Monday. And I said they should pick up books from a school in Ikeja and take it to Isheri. And somebody was charging us uh, 2,000 naira, and I'm like, eh? Ikeja to share it. It is even better for me to take Uber. 600 naira. 600 naira. 1,200. And what about the stress? Like you're going to go through. Eh, no, but uh, 2,000 naira is stress now. There's no stress with the private <laughs> card, though. Yeah, there's no stress. What about if, if, if you're inside the border? You know, Nigerians now, if you, you can't predict the traffic. If you think that you're going to spend 600 at the, end, at the end of the day, you go with 2,000, come back with 2,000. Yeah. Because by the time you hook in the order, in the traffic, you know that, ah, I will have no. Mm. And you know, all, the, mm. all these bikes. But Mr. Lord, you sounded this way, that means you support that price, like from Isheri to Kedja, 2,000 Naira. Mm. Actually, it's not that I support and I'm part of it support, because I'm part of the complaint. I'm, mm. I'm part of the association. Mm. The thing is, yes. The thing is, I want us to understand something is that you that you buy you buy a bike you you have your own bike mm. and you have somebody that is riding it okay. you buy four you put the person's salary mm. out of the two thousand that you want to pay mm. that's it so you know we just do it as if um a drop of water make an ocean mm. okay. that is it but for our own side in our own company i want mm. the, the the thing is it's not that we are we are too expensive or we are expensive mm. but i want people to understand something that we pay tax some other people don't pay their tax at the end of the year government will ask them they will ask us for tax mm. we pay insurance every year we pay a lot of things every year mm. so, so why so, why do you go through all of that taxes mm. insurance that is normal thing for us okay. a patriotic nigeria you have to pay your tax you're in nigeria yeah you're a good <laughs> yes. nigeria so you I want to pay your tax. Career services. Do you people belong to an association? Yes. Is an association guarding you? Yes. And yes, there's yes. a fixed price, or it's just that I just bring out my own price, or there's a fixed price for any services? Yes. The okay. association is called ANCO, Organization of Korea, Nigeria, whatever. So okay. it's ANCO. So we have an association that control the Korea and cargo. So we have a fixed price but some other people that do not belong to the association okay you understand they do what they want they do oh, what they want. so but okay. if like us now if anything happened to us if you go to the association you google them you email there's oh. also so company mm. so, so, so people like you our goods are safe with you 
Of course, yes. Okay. Because it's like our whole needle of thread. So yeah. you can trace us. Yeah. Yeah. So you can trace us. We belong to the yeah. Association of Korea yeah. in Nigeria. Yeah. We oh. belong to the members of NCAA. We have oh. satisfied. We are satisfied agent by the NCAA. Okay. We, are, we have a lot of certificate. Okay. Mm. So among these things, I want us to understand is if you want to, whatever you are doing, you need to do it to the fullest. Okay. Mm. So that you not be embarrassed. Mm. Mm. Now, you can contribute this morning and ask questions. The number to call is the first number right there on the screen. 90 3553 5401 You get to call us because I see that I'm having a bit of missed calls right here. But um, please do get to call us. Don't flash. Call. Actually, do call us. And we will definitely pick your call. You can ask your questions, and peradventure you can get through through any um, due to any form of uh, network issues. Send, send a, a message. text yeah. message. We so, will definitely pick it up. All right, so I want to quickly ask this again. How do we know? Like, I want to do a business with any courier service. How will I know if they are registered or they are not registered? And you people that are registered, why are you allowing people that are not registered to be part reading the street? Okay, because uh, it's going to affect the organization at the, really? end of, at the end of it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's hmm. because we, um, the organization has an arrangement on run, it's okay. because of the pandemic. Okay. Because they want to fish out, okay, the people that not belong mm -hmm. to the organization. So, okay. we, we, they are the, the, the executive of this organization, they you know, we, we the members we agree on something, so they are working if not for the pandemic. So, by now, we'll have flush out those people okay yes so that um korea service and everything Nigeria, so that it can be if we want to reform it mm -hmm. that's the work of the organization mm -hmm. so they want to the anchor what anchor is trying to do they want to reform the korea service entirely so if you don't belong to the organization you won't work. they're not meant to actually work mm -hmm. but they do work they do work now. It's because of the pandemic and whatever else is going on in Nigeria. That's why we slow them. Down. We slow them. So yeah. I believe by next year, things should pick up. But well, how then do you now advise? Because what it means is it's a crime when people do this. Hello, good morning. Ah, uh, we wouldn't like you to flash us. Do us a favor and just do a phone call. Mm -hmm. And peradventure you can get through. Do an SMS to us. Do an SMS mm -hmm. to us, and uh, we definitely will get to speak to you uh, on the phone. Um, if I have an SMS here, what I would like to do is really to just read it. All right. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Please turn down the volume of your TV set. Hello. Good morning. All right. So um, this this was what I needed to ask you there. Now, for those who would like to play in that industry but do not have the capacity to register to be a member of Anko, how do you propose to do it? The thing is, if you want to do any business, you need to know what it takes to do the business. Okay. The registration is not something big. Okay. It's not one million. It's not five hundred. I think it's it's not even maybe like hundred thousand to oh, be a member. It's not about the money. It's not about the money. It's about for uh, for the association to control what is because we have a lot of things. You can give somebody mm. your goods now and they yeah. run away. So away, you know, yeah. you, if you go to, if you say, okay, I, I have the CAC number or whatever, do you know how many CAC that <laughs> is on the station yeah, the registration that they do? Yeah. Yeah. But through the yeah. through the association, mm. you can locate the person. Mm. Mm. Hello, good morning. Through this association, you can see the person. Mm. Hello, good morning. Are you sure oh, okay. I think that something is wrong. With the something network, wrong. and then somebody keeps flashing. These people are. I want to assume they're not flashing. They're trying to reach us. But the number again to call is zero nine zero three nine five three five four zero one. That number is right there on your screen. You can call it. It's the first number on the screen right now. Zero nine zero three nine five three five four zero one. Smithola. Now, if I don't, I work. Or I already have something I'm doing. As a matter of fact. Hello, good morning. Hello. Good morning, good sir. Morning. Your name and where you calling from, sir? My name is Your your name is you're calling from Agege. All right, so speak to me, please. Okay. What's your question? Okay. okay. Uh, 
We can barely hear you, sir. Your voice is a bit muffled up. Can you speak a bit louder? I said, Hello, good morning. I guess what he's trying to say. Mm. Oh, you got him. Yes, I got him. But we are not here to discuss about that because he is here to talk but about Santola. Right. Mm -hmm. Corrosive, explosive, lubricant, and all those. Okay. Uh, so cargoes that are. Cargoes that. that are dangerous to. Okay. To. Yeah, distribute. Okay. So that is special. Okay. Right. So how do you how do you transport the dangerous goods? Yeah. Not bullets now. Okay. He's talking about maybe chemicals and maybe the rest of it. Yes, yes, yes. What really happens is that it's, um, it depends on where you are going. Okay. Okay. If you want to trans, for example, if it is not, if it is within Nigeria, yes. If we don't take it by plane, we take it by road. Okay. So, but if it's if it is outside Nigeria, there is some dangerous goods that the plane cannot carry. Okay. But the ship can carry it okay you understand so we we transport them by air and by road and by sea so it depends on what you want to carry within nigeria within nigeria by we can transport it by road okay but outside nigeria we can transport okay. it by sea okay that is it so you know even though your own perfume the perfume we use is dangerous goods it has a quantity of perfume that you can take into the plane Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes, I know. Okay. I know. That's I'll tell you no. Mm. It's yeah, too much. You, yeah. No, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's it. So we we make it by road, by okay. sea, and by air. And by uh, air. What are the three, three options? What about the prices? Um, you said is that also regulated by ANCO? Uh, because again, stuff like that is going to be heavy. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a, a pass. Yeah, some of it is heavy. Some of mm. it are not are very light. You okay. know, some dangerous goods are just gas. Mm. Okay. Mm. And they're okay. not, and that may not necessarily be heavy, be heavy. depending on what you use to carry. But you can go gas again, okay? Maybe to another country for sales, or I don't understand because Are you, you know, know, the thing is, like you can't cargo gas mm. <laughs> on else that one is something different. You need to have some certificate from government, approval from government for you to, to be able to carry that. It's only uh -huh. oil companies that can do that, can do those things. things but yeah. things like so, if you mean dangerous okay. goods now, you're talking about goods like what, okay. Goose like that you can carry. That you that we, can carry. Yes. Can, like perfumes. Okay. Your perfume is dangerous. Yes. Yes. Oh, it's mm. plus like dangerous. engine. You know, if you, for example, you okay. you you want to bring in Tokumbo engine for your car. For, for your, your car. car. Okay. okay. Plane will not carry it. Okay. Because it's because, yeah. it's because it's used because the oil and things that you can only oh. we can, plane can only carry brand new like generators and things. They can okay. only carry the brand new. Brand new one. They okay. won't carry the fairly used. Okay. okay. Okay, so we carry all those things through sea. Okay. okay. We we bring it in through sea, we take it out through sea. But through if it is sea, within Nigeria, Nigeria, we take it by road. By road. Okay. Yeah. But Smitala does all that. We do. Yeah. yeah. Now, okay. a, a good question that would come up again is mm. when it comes to, because we talk a lot about food items and all. Now, okay. somebody wants to do some purchases abroad. Okay. And the the idea is is going to maybe shop from, uh, get shop online. Okay. How exactly does it get to you? If, for example, let's assume in Turkey, I do some shopping and I want to send it down to Nigeria and I okay. shop in the shop. If you, if How do I reach out to you? Okay, to fine. If you do the shopping, yes. you contact us. We will give you our address over there. Then you take the thing there. As soon as we receive it over there, so we are responsible for it. So mm -hmm. until they give it to us, then we, we you know <laughs> we miss the items. That is when we are responsible for so, it. So now, are you trying to say Smitola is everywhere? You are everywhere, and for with Smitola, we can cargo to any. You can cargo to anywhere world. because we, okay. we we don't do it alone. We partner with so many companies in abroad. In abroad, so okay. we partner with them. So when they bring things in, we assist them. They okay. don't have offices, so okay. we work together. Partner, we work together. together. Yeah. Okay. So when we go to their country too. They accept yeah. us. Whatever so, we send, oh, that means because they know that we are professional. We cannot sell something that is okay. dangerous that can make them to block their certificate. Mm. Okay. So That's for right. every country, okay. there is a partner. There is a partner, yeah. And okay. for some, you have people there. People there, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, so, it, it, for those who are like likely to want to reach out, I keep getting flashes. I'm sorry. The number again is zero nine zero three nine five three five four zero one. Not the regular number we use. It's zero nine zero three nine five three five four zero one. You get to ask all your questions when it has to do with cargo in one, Nigeria. Uh, there's one other things I want our people to understand. Okay. We used to face these challenges. Okay. Mm. Maybe you come now. You give us. Uh, you 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 ask us to help us to 
ship your goods. Mm. So we have three categories of shipping. Mm. So out of these three categories of shipping, we only collect money for shipping from you, but we don't collect duty money. Oh, but mm. people don't understand. If you ask me, that's the duty. question I asked you that day. I asked you that question. Because the difference between duty, duty money. Yes, because there was a sign they bought goods for us from UK. Okay. And we're asked to pay again. And mm. my dad said he has paid. No, but no. The, they didn't explain it to him that when you get here, you're still going to pay. He said he cleared everything over there. There are some charges that they do charge. I don't understand. I was mm. trying to make you, to let you, to let, let me understand it. Let me comment in that. Mm. This is how it works. Okay if you if if you give us something to for example if you give us the spoon to bring into nigeria mm -hmm. nigeria customer might not look at the phone and say go so there's no how we charge you for duty on that mm -hmm. until when the thing get to the point of entry so whatever they tells us will relate back to you so the money you are paying us is just for shipment so we you can say okay help me to deliver this thing in my house in uk we will deliver it to your doorstep but when we get to point of entry in uk mm -hmm. when the uk government says no you can't bring this thing here you have to pay duty and tax but mm. well, why is it and, that you don't charge mm. duty and tax because we don't know how much you're going to pay oh no i see there's a fixed price for me they don't have fixed price for you oh. they, no, they might even say oh, don't worry go and we have already collected the, <laughs> the duty and tax from you it's, which so it's always fair so you, so you, you might have money as a loss if you do that it oh. would even end up being fraud because mm. you are mm. a shipper you ship yes for the mm. person whether it's by air or by sea, by sea. By sea. but when we get there somebody the needs to pay for of course if oh, they okay. need a duty, duty except it's a duty free good duty right? free good yes we all oh, we okay. can't predict nigerian mm. duty because this is my country oh yeah i can tell you if you bring like China, this is that. the price if you bring one kg this mm. one, i can't produce china duty produce america at the same time produce germany produce so when they get to the point of entry that is mm. when the government government of the of the country tells us this is what you are going to pay as a duty okay mm. then we have to refer back to you mm. that is if it is for our duty to deliver to your doorstep mm. they will yeah. let you know that come this is, this is how much do we need to pay so this is it. but our people don't use to understand this we try to lecture them they say oh i say no that's not how it works <laughs> we tell you before and we i'll get you mm. so mm. there's another one that we call airports to airport some people say okay I'll, if if you want to send something to uk in, mm. in your your family in uk i can tell you pay thirty thousand ah thirty thousand is too much pay this part okay and why can't you send it then they won't collect it i say okay fine that is what we call airport to airport not door to door mm. so when i send it to the uk mm. Then when they call you, that they come and clear your whatever. I've done that before. Mm. No, they can call. I went to Nigerian airport with a placard. I was holding a placard like this. <laughs> so that was airport to airport. Airport to airport. Okay, I think that's what you call airport to airport. Yes. Before, so it, before it comes My out. My name is scribed in it. Before it comes out, mm. you have to go through some screening. Mm. Mm. You know, you have to go to a custom, these, that, that, in the other side. So when they call you, that come. This is the situation of things. You have to come and clear. And before you go there, you know, most of the most of all the most of the Nigerians abroad, mm. they don't like that kind of stress. Mm. You can go there. You can be going there for the five five days. They bring your ID, bring this. So that's why we used to advise our customers that let do that for you. Mm. But it's we tell you do it for you because our partners over there, they are mm. ready to do it. But when the thing arrives, this is the price that is going to cost you. Mm -hmm. But people, people used to misunderstood this, which is not good. Now you have three options. It means you can do the airport to airport. airport, to airport. You need airport. to know which one. You can do which one is cheaper. And because I know my Nigerian people will want to know, is the airport or airport? Which one is cheaper? Which but is cheapest? Airport mm. Can you send food? But can you send food stuff of about say mm. three hundred kg airport to airport? We send two tons. You go to you go to the airport and pick it up. Yes, yes now you go to the airport and I'm pick it up yourself. And then that's your own. That's your business. <laughs> it's but not that you business again. Is that the airport they dropped it there? Then there's yes, there is, there is something we are going through now, mm. like Ukraine. They don't allow food to go to Ukraine. Oh yeah. Ooh. food items from mm. anywhere in the world from any country. Mm. On else, this is the arrangement we have. We have a company over there. Mm. The company will receive it. We send it in their name. Then they will receive it. Oh, then they will give it to whosoever. But there's there, there, there's one that we are having problem with. It challenges with that. We told the mother that this is it. Let's do this thing. They say no, it's too expensive. We send it to the airport. Now they have been spending eight hundred dollars. How much food? 
maybe food of 100,000. They have been spending 800 dollars and the thing has not come out yet. You say, Oh, I said, But I told you, you should have allowed us to do it. But the way you are being done because you are the professional and you actually but know the thing that the process is on the high side. Mm. Uh -huh. Now they are spending 800 dollars and the and the food stuff has not come out yet. Just 40 kg. Can you imagine what is your age? What of 40 kg? How much is it in Nigeria? Hello, good morning. Mm. Yeah, good morning. I'm the first caller that called. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So, yeah. uh, I have a question for my gentleman. All right, sir. Uh, just to, yeah. Uh, the first question is uh, the question of uh, the issue of food you're talking about. Yes. Yes. You know, when you talk of food, we have uh, raw food. Yes. We have uh, food that has been alive like yam. Yes. And uh, other items. Yes. Which, uh, you, which you can plant. Okay, okay. So now, how do we deal with the issues like the issue of quarantine and then the issue of uh, live animal, livestock? Livestock, if we want to send something related to livestock and That's food, nice. wow. food yeah. and seed yeah. abroad. Yes, yeah. mm. secondly, okay. um, the issue of uh, insurance. Abroad or within Nigeria? Both within uh, outside. and outside. All right, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Livestock within no. livestock. It's not livestock. It's not every country that allow livestock. Okay. Okay. You the way you take your livestock, you bring it back. Mm -hmm. Some other country allow. It like depends which countries. On, for, for example, like UK, they don't allow livestock. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm. We are just talking about Ukraine. You send food stuff to Ukraine, they seize it. Is it mm. the place you want to send livestock? <laughs> So some countries, don't, like India, they don't allow livestock because they believe that they have it. But they have more enough. Even that's cheaper over there. Why should we bring cheap. chicken from that's your country from there? When we have, we have chicken. Why should you bring goats, live goats, to your, from your country? But <laughs> if you do engagement, if you do not want to do engagement, now we need goats now. No, it is, it is. But if it is something that has been killed, fried, dried, that is fine. No, and it doesn't have any any aroma, any dried. dried. You have to be dry. Mm. Extraordinary dry so that it won't smell because as soon as they mm. perceive any aroma, mm. they are going to destroy the whole thing that you sent. Mm. In fact, they won't even pick it out of they'll the, destroy it, they'll pick everything. Mm, yeah, but so what some you're doing in Nigeria, what if you're doing livestock? You want to send livestock, say from no, that one, you do it from Abuja. You want to bring livestock, oh, all right? What if you, you do? You want to bring livestock from UK to Nigeria? You can do that. That is if the government allow if Nigerian government allow you to enter, it will. We are not the government, we do have power over government, we can't control them. Mm. So if Nigerian go, if you want to bring the of food right there is even banned in Nigeria. It's so, just like if you want to bring rice now, twenty bucks, they will they will tell you to they will seize it from us. So we can't yeah, do it. Mm. Can do it. You yeah. understand? Mm. So but it, it depends on the government. It depends on what the country government allow us to bring. Okay. Mm. So he he said something about insurance in and outside mm. the country. The country. So yeah, that's the re that's what we're talking. The insurance is that we are the one that have to insure your goods. So that when something happen, the insurance will stand. So they pay for that separately. Is that another payment? We had this to the payment. That's why we to the payment. The payment. Oh, so when you say it's a so so amount of money per case, if you now say you don't want to do it, then we, we have to split this for you. Okay, the insurance. Let's move it. Then so if you move the insurance, what happens? If anything happen, you won't hold us responsible because we cannot go and tell the insurance that uh, we ship so so things so so date because as soon as we are shipping, we are sending them mail. We ship so so thing so that in case if anything because we've already paid mm. so if we don't tell them and we ship they are not like so they are not they are not interested so they don't mm. want to listen mm. so, so that is talking about insurance. seed and food stuff now livestock seed food stuff how do we carry seed for example a friend of mine wanted to plant ugu seed in the uk and she's been begging me to find a way to send her ugu seed mm. to plant there we are still saying the same thing if the UK government, if we if we send it over and they look at it, okay, it's, don't worry, we let it, it can pass. Go. It can go. Mm. So we can't force them. We can't impose them. Mm. So it depends on when what they say. If you bring it to us, we call our contacts over there. Can this thing move? Mm. If they tell us yes, then we say okay, no problem. It's they but if you cannot go, we we'll let you know that it can't fly. So basically, it's Mitola is not one of those people that say, ah, we can send anything. Okay, bring it, bring mm. it. You make sure that we there is proper communication. We oh. make sure that there's 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 gonna be a proper arrangement. Okay. So we need to confirm from there at the other side to know maybe we can receive it. Because mm. they are gonna be the one to face it when it's there. Mm. 
Yes. But like now, mm. the issue of um, UK going into lockdown, I think today, mm -hmm. their lockdown starts today. Is it not going mm -hmm. to affect your business? Uh, you know, the lockdown is not total lockdown. Essential goods still coming. Essential, Essential goods services. Oh, so, that plane still fly. Okay. Mm. Only if plane don't fly. That's why mm. that's, that's, okay. that's why it's gonna affect us. Mm. So if they, the only thing is that they can just they can screen what is coming in more okay. more they than before. Pay more attention, attention right. it than before. Than before mm. now. That is it. Which means but you know Nigerians are smart in some ways. Someone uh, mm. someone did something. <laughs> I don't want to mention that person. She was traveling to UK, mm. and she had to use different clothes. As in to wrap, wrap, and wrap, and wrap, and she will carry it in her personal luggage. And it? yes, in her personal luggage. And mm -hmm. I tell you, she's still true. No, no, the thing is, she goes to UK like that. And I was like, how did you do it? This thing is just not. It just as if you want to go and do scan. They will see it. And they can hide your clothes. You can't hide anything. The doctor will see everything down to your intestines. So that's how it works. But so how does she scale through? Not one, not two. Is no, that that's is that's how does what it does it what it carries? What the person carries okay. is not something that the government are looking for. Are looking see. for to see. Mm. Okay, you understand? It's something that maybe they don't. They, maybe there is a quantity of what they allow it to enter, but it's not contraband. It's not contraband. No matter okay. how you wrap it. Sorry to say, for example, you ca someone carry drugs. You say they will, even no, they will swallow. Kind of I'm just saying it. How do they know? Because that, they, don't they don't want it at all. They don't want it at all. Yeah, yeah that is yeah. it. Because yeah. the government don't want it at all. So whenever you hide it, they will get it. They will get it. So yeah. no matter how, mm. if you, you say you wrap it, it's because they want it to enter. If mm. it's something that they don't want to enter, it just as if mm. go to the border. You see the way they are smuggling rice. The, you, Nigerian customers are very smart. They shake inside your tire because they don't want you to enter. <laughs> yes, but there was a man that was shake your tire. There was a man that had slice in seats. Did you see that video then? <laughs> in all seats. And they saw rice. And when they measured the rice, it was like a bag of rice. Because they don't understand. I don't understand, understand how we did it. But when they sit in tomato, mm -hmm. the government allowed in tomato to enter. They just like, okay, give us something. Then you go because it's allowed. It's allowed, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. That yes, is the truth. Yeah, so yeah. the seat that we are talking about. Mm -hmm. Is what the government of the other side wanted to enter, but they, there must be quantity of what they want. Mm. There must be a limit. If they say, "Okay, fine, we want so so thing, ten kg," and you carry twenty kg, they will tell you no. Mm. They will seize it. Basically, you can reach out to Smithola on the number on the screen zero nine zero three nine five three five four zero one and zero eight one two one two five six zero two seven. You can send them emails. He definitely is going to be on the order line. Is the CEO of Spitola Investment Nigeria Limited, and he will definitely be looking up uh, to answering your questions. You can reach out to them right after he leaves the set right now with your questions. I like the fact that on all sides, one thing I've picked from our conversation this morning oh, okay. is the fact that Smitola is a legally registered you know, mm -hmm. registered um mm -hmm. it's a company that respects legal structure, legal structure. and Thank government you. policy which policy. means across board whether mm -hmm. you're in nigeria mm -hmm. or in china yeah. we obey the government policy of, of wherever course, it yeah. is mm -hmm. that and we it's safe to bank with you mm -hmm. it's safe to bank with him so you know that your once, once it takes your goods it gets yeah. to where you yes, yes, yes. if when you don't take it yeah. means you cannot if you if we do something that is wrong for example maybe what they don't allow us to Nigeria might allow it to go in, but mm. the other side might not allow it to come in. Mm. They will forcefully take it, they give you warning, the second and the third, and they will report mm. you to NCAA. Wow. Okay. Yes. And that will definitely affect your business. As soon as they report you to NCAA, what NCAA do they cancel your certificate? That's the end. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Pastor. Thank you. I call you Pastor now. Taiwan Logic Prophet joining us. I just pray God for you. I'm so Taiwan Logic Prophet joining us. I'm so grateful for the prayer. But it's still the Bible says, "Yo, I'm Mr. Gifatuke. We'll be back here with us in a jiffy. We'll be back. Thank you.